So hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is this leaf similar trees problem from lead code and the number for this is 872. This is a lead code easy and so let's start with the question. So in the given question we are given a binary tree and from the left to right all the leaf values is known as the leaf sequence. So you can see this tree. So in this the leaf values 6, 7, 4, 9 and 8 form the leaf sequence leaf value sequence from left to right so this is called a leaf value sequence now we have to return true if and only if the trees with the nodes root 1 and root 2 are leaf similar that means we are given with two uh, trees that uh, with the root of the tree 1 as a root 1 and the root of tree 2 as the root 2 and we have to find the uh, leaf sequence for both of the trees and uh, check if they are same or not if they are same we have to return true otherwise we have to return false so the most suitable approach for this would be a dfs and depth first search because a depth first search can easily be implemented using recursion and also for traversing the to the part to the leaf nodes uh, dfs will be uh, more efficient and uh, we can simply add the nodes value in our sequence when we hit a leaf node that means a node which does not have its left or the right chain so let's start with the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel uh, let's see an example first so suppose to suppose we have a tree 1 and tree 2 the tree 1 is 3 then on the next level 5 and 1 then 6 and 2 and then a 7 and the tree 2 is 5 and then 3 6 and then a 7 simply so the leaf sequence of tree 1 is 6 7 and 1 and for the tree 2 is 7 and 6 so uh, how we are we going to do so for tree 1 we'll start the dfs is 3 then we'll go to left first so we reach 5 then on reaching 5 we'll again go left we reach a leaf node add to the list go back go to the right of 5 is there a left child yes go to the left child 7 is this a leaf node yes so add in the list so is there there are no child so return 2 is there a right child no return then we are on 5 left reverse right reverse we can go back we reach 5 uh, we reach 3 so for 3 the left side is traversed but the right side is not so we go to the right is it a leaf node yes so note it in the error list so similarly for tree 1 and tree 2 uh, this process of dfs is called and only we have to check if it is a leaf node or not and we can add it in the array list and simply compare the array list and then return the answer so let's come to the code section do like the video share it as a friend and subscribe to the channel so let's define two list for the separate trees So we have defined the list, both the list, and then we are calling the our helper function on the root one and the root two that will add the leaf sequence in the list. And simply we check if the both the list are same, we can return a true, otherwise false. Now it's time to define the 
helper function so void helper takes a list and a node so p node root and if the root equal equal to null we can return otherwise if the root dot left equal equal to null and then root dot right is also null this means that it is a leaf value so for leaf value we have to add it in the list so list add add root dot well we can return else we will call the helper for the left and the right so call the helper with the list on the root dot left and also the helper and the root dot right and this is the solution let's try to run it for the sample test cases and see it passes for the sample test cases now time to run for the hidden test cases as well So it passes the good time complexity in a good memory complexity so let's see the time complexity and the uh, space complexity so the time complexity for this solution is o of n plus m because o of n takes for the tree 1 and o of m for the tree 2 where n and m are the number of nodes and the recursion call stack space uh, takes the height of the tree 1 plus height of the tree 2 that is o of height of tree 1 and height of tree 2 so this is the space complexity you can also check the c++ python and the javascript solution by going into the solution panel you can check this solution this is my solution you can see the intuition the approach the complexity and yes the python java c++ and javascript code and do remember me to upvote and do like the video, share it with friends and subscribe to the channel. I hope you understood the logic. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.